you come hatched out in this world, you look around and you say, why the hell am I here and what am I supposed to do, right? What is the meaning of all this stuff? Hello. Hello. <laughs> so I thought I'd find the answers in philosophy. So I'm in philosophy class learning about all this stuff. And I'm thinking, these guys aren't telling me anything. So I walk out of philosophy class, and I'm sitting there in this introduction to biology class, and the book says, everything on this planet is made out of the four same letters of material, A, T, Cs, and Gs. But a tree's got a C before a G, and you happen to have a G after your C, and you're a human, and that thing's a plant, or a sequoia, or a wolf, or whatever. That's nuts. So I left that philosophy class, became a scientist, and never turned back. I invent and make microscopes. So these are things that you focus down and you look inside a person's tissue. Microscopes have been around for literally 150 years, but they haven't been doing the kind of science that I wanted to do with them. And it goes actually all the way back to the fundamental thing that I was talking about. Being a human being, I'm trying to understand what makes you, you, and what makes me, me. Everybody's made up of these little tiny things. They're called RNAs and proteins and DNAs. And you got 30 trillion of these little cells that make you, you. So what did the microscopes used to do? The microscopes used to take your little square centimeter of tissue, and they'd see roughly four things at a time in them. Four. And they wanted to tell you what disease you have and how they're going to fix you from four little things on one square inch of you. They got it wrong almost 100% of the time. And I had to think, how do I take those little individual molecules and make them observable in the microscope? Instead of doing it the way everybody else had did it, and everybody else was trying to put little colors in a microscope and try to resolve what the colors meant, I put something else in. I put a little sequence of DNA on these molecules I'm measuring, and in theory, I can make a microscope, not with fluorescent dyes, but with DNA sequences on something called photocleavable barcodes. It's not that important, but the idea is that I gotta look at it a totally different way. You know, when I came home and talked to my own R&D people, you know, they said, that's crazy. But I said, well, can it work? And it worked. It literally worked the first time, which is unusual in science. So we did it again. It's like, oh my gosh, I'm seeing a lot more. So we went from four color microscopy to 20,000 colors like that. That's the thing I like about science. The deeper you get, the deeper I can look into you because I've been staring into me. It was always amazing to me. I remember the first time I'm really staring into that microscope and we're looking deep and then what do I see when I do that? And I'm staring at molecules of RNA, billions of them at a time, a galaxy of molecules doing their own thing, their own particular dance. Me staring into that little one square inch of a person's body looks exactly the same as a night sky and a telescope, and I'm staring at all the stars in the sky. Anyway, so that's what looking out and looking in feels like to me.